On June 12, 2023, the South Carolina Department of Transportation was notified of damage on the historic Sakisti Swing Bridge in Horry County. The bridge was closed for emergency repairs after sustaining significant structural damage due to a crash. <clears throat> SCDOT's inspection crews worked Monday night, continuing Tuesday morning, to assess the extent of the damage. The repair efforts focused on the removal and replacement of the damaged portion. The goal was to make repairs for the safety of motorists and reopen the bridge as soon as possible. <clears throat> During the repairs, motorists were asked to avoid the area to allow crews to work, with nearby SC-544 being used as a detour route. When the repairs were finished on June 19th. The bridge was reopened to vehicle and marine traffic ahead of schedule in keeping with SCDOT's top priorities of safety and mobility. Hey guys, welcome to the video, and it's your boy Michael Barnett. So guys, at the time I'm recording this video here on July 25th, 2024, and it is currently 6.41 in the evening. You can tell I'm recording it on the Chromebook because I'm having trouble finding my, my, the USB plug for my controller. It's somewhere in here, but I already looked for it, but I couldn't find it, but so I just wanted to go ahead and do it on here for a reason, so yeah. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. As you can see, we're today's um, county will be in Ori County, by the way, guys. So yeah, that's what it picked. I did show it on the last stream. If you want to go check it out, do that. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about this, um, the Sokus, the Sokusis, um the historical Sokusi Swing Bridge in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's near Myrtle Beach. That's off of the pond road I don't want to say it but this is the road is actually located off but I'm just gonna tell different um they closed it on June 12th I think last year I th yeah they closed it in June of last year for about a week um due to a crash there was a crash here last year this is the bridge I know pretty old here the pretty old historical the historical old bridge so yeah, it has the it has a kind of like a railroad cross guard almost, but it's a little bit different than the railroad crossings. You have single, you have those single lights. You have drawbridge singles at the at the approaches right here, and you can see it's a traffic light. Like you see at an intersection all the time. The Atlantic Coast Intercoastal Water Waterway is where it's located. <clears throat> so yeah, at the time they closed the bridge, there was a detour route nearby, nearby SC44, which is right there, that bridge, I'll show you in just a minute. There was a car crash that they had to close it down for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know what this is here, but they closed it in June, early June 2023. So yeah, this is the bridge right here. This is the route that gets used a lot, I'm pretty sure. It just goes near SE 544, just to cut through. But at the time they closed it down for a week, the bridge didn't get finished until June 19th of last year. Then SC 44 was a detour route at the time, and this is where the detour route, like let me show you for example. Like if you're traveling, like maybe let's say east of, you're traveling east to east of Myrtle Beach, if you're traveling like let's say from US 501, then if you're traveling south to Myrtle Beach, you'll be on. You want to go like towards the hotel we stayed at a couple of years ago in Myrtle Beach, not last year, but like if you're trying to get to the airport, this would be a shortcut. But then when that bridge was closed, you had to take SC 544, which you just continue. You just cross over SC 31. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure that's SC 31. I think it is, yeah. At the time they closed it down, they needed to be re they had to repair it big time. It's a, it is an old bridge, not just because of the car crash. It is a pretty old bridge, also at the same time. So right there, that goes to the bridge right there. If I take you to the actual, if I take you to the SC44 bridge, um, you'll see the road. You'll see the the Sakisti, uh historical bridge. On this bridge right here, this was the detour route at the time that when they closed it down for repairs. This was the detour route. This was the only other detour route they had, other than SC31. But that just goes a longer route. So this is the only detour route nearby. 
was right next to it, in fact. If you see right there, if you look right down there, there's the bridge right there. Kind of looks like a railroad bridge almost, but it ain't. It's just a railway bridge. This is the bridge. It's even, this bridge is even higher than the historical Sockisty, um Swing Bridge. This is a like swing bridge. It's a draw bridge that goes around, I think, something like that. So yeah, this is the main highway. That route just goes, this is the shortcut, I'm pretty sure, so yeah. And overall, the project, um, they need, the overall, the project was to repair the bridge. Um, after the car crash, they had to repair it a big time. They will link that video in the description, so yeah. Oh yeah, the, by the way, this road did get repaved a couple years ago, but we're not talking about that right now. So yeah. This bridge was made out of steel, kind of like the Beaufort Bridge I'll film one day. There's the SC-44 bridge right there we just saw. It's bigger. It is raised up higher than this bridge, so yeah. This bridge is a draw bridge. <clears throat> that means it goes sideways. Well, you have to wait at this. This is the single right here. The traffic light single. I don't know if there's a... I'm pretty sure there is a weight limit at this bridge, but I could be wrong. It says stop here on red. Would you like, right there is where it's telling you. This is a 15-inch, zero-foot bridge. This is mainly a shortcut to that. And this is nearby the high school. Uh, nearby one of the South Carolina high schools. And that's the... Right down there, there's the bridge right down there. This is... This is a shortcut, I'm pretty sure, to get to the school ops. Obviously, the school's right by. It goes to SCO 707. This is a shortcut to get to US-17 and to the Mineral Beach International Airport, which is located right there. We've we've been by this airport a couple times. I've never actually been inside of it. Similar to my local airport. And so yeah, this bridge crosses over. I think it crosses it crosses over the intercoastal Atlantic water waterway. I think yeah, it does actually. So yeah, there's nothing really much else to talk about in this video. Other than let's do the outro. So by the way, so yeah, guys, this will do it for the in the historical saucy the Saucy Ski uh, Swing Bridge. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content, and feel free to leave a comment. So yeah, this will do it for today's video, and I'll catch you back later. Bye bye.